Hello everyone, and welcome to CNN World SST, your go-to channel for uncovering hidden treasures in your pocket change. Today, we're diving deep into the story of a coin that you might just have lying around without realizing its potential worth, the 1970 USA One Dime Coin. Yes, you heard that right. This seemingly ordinary coin could fetch you between 30 and 40 US dollars on the market today. It's time to see if you have one of these hidden gems. Before we reveal what makes the 1970 USA dime so special, let's take a journey through the history of this fascinating coin. The dime, as many of you know, is a 10-cent coin that has been part of American currency for over two centuries. The name dime comes from the French word dime, meaning tithe or one-tenth. Since the first dimes were struck in 1796, they've been an essential part of American commerce, evolving through various designs and compositions. The 1970 dime belongs to the Roosevelt Dime Series, which began in 1946. This series was introduced to honor President Franklin D. Roosevelt, who had passed away the previous year. Roosevelt's legacy, especially his leadership during the Great Depression and World War II, made him a fitting figure to feature on a coin. The dime was chosen because of Roosevelt's involvement in the March of Dimes, a campaign that raised money to combat polio, a disease that Roosevelt himself battled. Now, let's talk about the specifications of the 1970 Roosevelt dime. This coin is made of a copper-nickel-clad composition, meaning it has a pure copper core sandwiched between layers of nickel. This design replaced the earlier silver dimes, which had become too expensive to produce due to the rising cost of silver. The 1970 dime weighs 2.27 grams and has a diameter of 17.91 millimeters, with a reeded edge that's characteristic of many U.S. coins. The obverse, or head side, of the 1970 dime features the profile of Franklin D. Roosevelt, designed by John R. Sinek, the chief engraver of the United States Mint. Below Roosevelt's neck, you'll find Sinek's initials, J.S. The reverse, or tail side, depicts a torch flanked by an olive branch on the left and an oak branch on the right. The torch symbolizes liberty, the olive branch represents peace, and the oak branch signifies strength and independence. Above the torch is the inscription, United States of America, and below, you'll find the words one dime. While billions of dimes were minted in 1970, the value of this coin today comes down to a few key factors, condition, mint mark, and any potential errors. Condition is crucial. Coins that have been well-preserved, with minimal wear and tear, are more valuable to collectors. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 representing a perfect, uncirculated coin. A 1970 dime that's been graded highly can easily fetch more money. Mint marks also play a significant role in determining a coin's value. The 1970 Roosevelt dimes were minted at three locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Philadelphia minted coins have no mint mark. Denver coins are marked with a D, and San Francisco coins bear an S. The mint mark is located just above the date on the obverse side of the coin. Generally, dimes from the San Francisco mint, especially those that were struck as proofs, tend to be more valuable. Another factor that can drive up the value of a 1970 dime is the presence of errors or varieties. Errors can occur during the minting process and can include things like off-center strikes, double dies, or coins that were struck on the wrong planche. These errors make the coin unique, and collectors are often willing to pay a premium for them. The most famous error associated with the 1970 Roosevelt dime is the no S proof coin, where the S mint mark is missing. These rare errors can fetch hundreds or even thousands of dollars, depending on their condition. But even without errors or a perfect condition, the 1970 dime holds value simply due to its age and its role in American history. Coins are not just pieces of metal, they're artifacts that tell the story of a nation. The 1970 Roosevelt dime is a snapshot of America at a particular time, reflecting the economic conditions and the cultural values of the era. Let's take a moment to think about where your 1970 dime might have been. Perhaps it passed through the hands of a young adult buying their first car, or maybe it was used to purchase a newspaper on the day of the Apollo 13 mission. Each coin has a unique journey, a story that adds to its intrigue and value. So, what should you do if you find a 1970 dime in your change? First, examine it closely. Look at the condition. Does it have minimal wear? Are the details sharp? Check for a mint mark. And if it has an S, you might want to consider getting it appraised, especially if it's a proof coin. Even if your dime doesn't have any obvious errors or isn't in mint condition, it could still be worth more than face value. Now, let's talk about the market value of the 1970 Roosevelt dime today. While it's true that most dimes are worth their face value of 10 cents, a well-preserved 1970 dime, especially one with a desirable mint mark or error, can be worth between $30 and $40. That's quite a return on a coin that you might find lying at the bottom of a drawer or in an old jar of change. As with any collectible, the value of a 1970 dime can fluctuate based on demand and the coin's condition. It's always a good idea to keep an eye on the market and consult with a reputable coin dealer if you think you found something special. Before we wrap up, let's recap what we've learned today. 
The 1970 Roosevelt Dime is a small but significant piece of American history, with a design that honors one of the nation's most beloved presidents. While it might not make you a millionaire, finding one in good condition could still put some extra cash in your pocket. So, next time you're sorting through your change, keep an eye out for this little piece of treasure. You never know what you might discover. Thank you for joining us today on CNN World SST. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of coin collecting. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. And remember, the next time you hold a coin in your hand, take a moment to think about the history and the story it tells. Who knows? You might be holding something truly valuable.